And only now I'm feeling, feeling, love, feeling a true love I thought that you believed in me, but I don't trust you I don't trust you prevents untoward incidents from happening. Local variation of knocking on wood. To prevent something horrible from happening to you or your family, you can simply tap on wood while uttering simbak. For example, your friend would say, Uy, dili ka makagraduate. And then you say, simbako, simbako. You knock on wood or anything. If there is no wood, siguro your head na lang. So, Anything underwear that you don't like to happen to you, every Cebuano would always say Simbako. And that's true. Second would be night clipper. So clipping your nails at night is that amount to cursing your family. I'm not really sure about this. Like ngayon ko lang to nalaman kasi ako I don't really believe believe to superstitious beliefs. But I don't think our family would also agree to this. Maybe some would. Like, clipping your nails at night is like wishing ill to your family members. And we're not just talking about something ill, but really horrible things that's going to happen to your family. Worst is death. And that means there's no nail clipping when it's about to be 6 p.m. And by the way, guys, I found these sources in the, on the internet by the way, and some through talks, family beliefs, the third would be slippers in. Leaving your slippers outside the house breaks bad luck. This has something to do with the Huawei scare. So background, Huawei is the nickname of a serial rapist and murderer from Danao. So Danao is a town in the northern part of, the, of Cebu. And that is believed to be an evil shapeshifter with supernatural powers. And according to stories, Huawei would ro roam around spitting on slippers of his next target and he would usually come back at night to finish the job. And another background about Huawei is what I heard is he had a family, like a very pretty family. And the next thing we know, he killed his wife and his children and he roams around raping girls. Fourth would be the fishbone dilemma. Letting a cat gently scratch your throat will remove the stopped fishbone. So beliefs like weird beliefs of Cebuanos. So one belief about this could also be turning your plate clockwise will miraculously remove the bone stuck down your throat. But sometimes in other families, other people, and mostly to us, my parents would tell us, Uy, kaonog saging. So saging in Tagalog is saging. <laughs> no, saging in English pala is banana. So because I think yung every time you eat the banana, it slips here na ito, until the, the fish bone gets to your stomach. Kasi daw, slimy, I mean, slippery yung banana. So, it helps in getting your the bone stuck in your throat down to your tummy. Fifth would be wet and crazy. So, going to sleep with wet hair will make you go crazy. Another one would be sleeping with head, wet hair will make your hair fall out and turn gray. Yeah, it's true. And also, if you sleep with your hair wet, who does who does want to wake up na basa yung 
pillow, tapos basa pa yung book. E di maglaba di mong ulo, di ba? And the last one for this part would be the tabi. The tabi, tabi-tabi po, tabi, agimi, mga gata. So make sure you don't disturb elementals and other mythical beings by saying tabi. There are multiple of horrible stories, not just in Cebu, that has happened to disrespectful mortals because they didn't say tabi. We often say tabi in Cebu or excuse me, so unseen beings in front of you would move out of the way, allowing you safe passage. And so you won't end up hurting them or destroying their properties. That's why they believe that maraming nanununo na paglalaroan ng duwende kasi hindi nagtatabi and they are disrespectful to nature. So we must always respect nature by taking away garbages, saying tabi whenever we go to places that we are not aware of, like we, we just don't know where. Hindi natin alam na in front of us may unseen being na. So every time we go to forests, rivers, we always say tabi in respect to them. Because we all know and we believe that it's not just the humans and animals who are staying here, but also mythical beings and elementals. I hope you guys like this video and please wait for the next part of this, um, all this superstitious beliefs that I have in my notes. And let me know if there are other superstitious beliefs that you know, please share it down below so I could also know and other people would. And I hope you like my video and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.